time, space, matter. The possibilities are endless in the vast multitude of life. There is a danger lurking in the depths of the multiverse. A threat that no one can escape from. Not even I. The Warden of Time. The journey begins on Gallifrey, Dimension 893. The Gallifreyans remain one of the most ancient and powerful races in this universe. But what if the Time Lord, known as the Doctor, never left Gallifrey? What if they never meddled in the affairs of other species and planets? How different would the universe be? Oh, I wish you would stop moaning. This is not moaning, Brax. I grow weary and tired of the endless politics in the High Council. Don't we all? But you've chosen your role in life, so be a doctor. Why don't you? It doesn't work like that. Don't be silly. <laughs> then what do you plan on doing exactly? How will you change this institution that has worked for us so well? Well, Theta? I wish you wouldn't call me that. It's just a nickname, brother. Well, I wish you wouldn't. Oh, stop being grumpy. Must you really bother me so? I want to make a change, Brax. The High Council are blind to worlds beyond their own. We are observers of the universe. Nothing more. What good will that do us, hmm? Segregated from everyone? What if there is a crisis, and we require assistance? <laughs> we own time travel. We can merely join a new time track. No, more than that. I doubt that will ever happen. <sighs> Look, if it bothers you so much, I will have a conversation with Socra and Goth in the morning. Maybe they can get you a position within the Citadel. Doing what, eh? Well, I'm not sure yet, but maybe I can, you know, persuade them to do something meaningful for you. Oh, very well. Thank you. Now, we must get back to the house. Susan and Inertia will be worried sick. Uh, yes, quite. In almost all universes, the Doctor is not persuaded by Braxiatel's offer. However, in this one, he is persuaded to wait. He goes and has dinner with his family. He tells Susan of the stories of when he was a boy. He has a patient day, waiting for Braxiatel's return to the House of Lungbarrow. Hmm. Yes, yes. I suppose it was a failed venture, brother. You returned so quickly. What are you writing? A short story for Susan. She does love her stories. You'll need to finish that today in time for your position tomorrow. Bex, are you 
You're saying they said yes? I am, brother. You'll be working as a Matrix Observer. This will mean that you can review the history of Gallifrey and the worlds of the universe. What did you have to sacrifice for their approval? Nothing, Theta. I talked of how passionate you were, and, well, excluding your grades at the Academy, you mean well, and you are a good man at heart. Oh, a hug. This is unlike you, brother. Thank you, Brexiter. Truly. Of course, of course. Don't get too excited. You will be meeting Coordinator Ushas. Ushas? A Frappadecca? Again, do not get excited by this. She is a professional, and she shares your views on universal change. But that doesn't mean you I can... do not need to be lectured, Brex. I understand what is required of me. I may have my differences with the High Council's politics, but uh, I am not above etiquette and uh, decorum. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, quite. Well, thank you again for this opportunity. No problem, Doctor. Oh, hello. You must be the Doctor. That's right. Uh, you must be Coordinator Ushas, if I'm uh, not mistaken. You are correct, Doctor. Now Braxiel has secured you the position of Matrix Observer here. Please, follow me. Of course. Have you worked here long? Several cycles now. Ah, I see. You do remember me, yes? Hmm? I do, Doctor. The Decker. It was a very long time ago. Yes, I'm a... <laughs> oh, well, yes, yeah, shouldn't have brought it up, I suppose. Hmm. Oh, there is no harm, Doctor. It's still a methodology that I hold close to my heart. The good and right change is still needed on Gallifrey. Oh, I see. Do you share the same values? Well, Doctor? I believe in order to push forward as a species and culture, changes are needed to ensure survival. Good. That was a test, wasn't it? <laughs> it was. Now, here's your observation chamber. The Doctor went to work at the Citadel under the coordinator, Ashus, for many years. As time always does, it began to affect the Doctor as he aged. His mind grew experienced in the Matrix's teachings, and he became a trust member of the Matrix observers. He was soon to become a coordinator, but not for the reasons he expected. Intriguing. Something's changed. Timeline is altering. Wait, no. Coordinator Sakra. I've just Ushas. seen... Well, yes. You're good, Doctor. I was just coming in to check if there were any disturbances in the timeline. Uh, the Matrix has only reported uh, one. Which is? Tet... Tetrap... Nonetheless, it seems that Ushas is there. Ushas? She's not on Gallifrey. She escaped, Doctor, and in a rush too, it seems. Thank you for remaining focused on the task at hand. The CIA will take care of this. Oh, my word. Father, you're home! Yeah, indeed I am, my child. More importantly, how are your studies coming along, eh? Ready for the final test? They're doing very well, Grandfather. I think I'll be ready for the test soon. <laughs> well, not long now, Susan, not long. Hmm. Now run along. I suspect Yanasha will need help preparing dinner. Of course!
Bex, what are you doing in my study? Waiting for you, brother. Right. Uh, what is it? Hmm? Sokra told me about Ushas. Uh, yes, I am. Uh, hmm. She left Gallifrey. She escaped in a Type 87 time capsule, one of those prototypes. Goodness me, why? It's something to do with the Decker, Theta. Rax, please don't call I don't me. care, brother. You won't let me call you by your real name, so Theta Sigma will have to do. Do you think I helped her escape? The coordinators have their suspicions. But I didn't. How could they think this? You mentioned the Decker to her on your first day. I certainly did not. You hinted to it. The coordinators have the right to be suspicious after that. I promise you, I am not involved. Ushus has asked to see you. Well, I, uh... I don't want to see her. The coordinators want you to see her to prove your loyalty. Right. Oh, brother, what have you got yourself into? I have not gotten myself into anything, Vakshaten. I noticed the timeline change in the Matrix code. I looked for it and happened to find it when Coordinator Sokra needed it. I am good at my job. Very well, Doctor. Nonetheless, the Coordinators will require assurances from you. I will visit Ushas tomorrow, as they have requested. Doctor, they've let me see you. Hmm, yes. As promised, this is a private conversation. Thank you. How are you? Why have you done this? What do you mean? The coordinators have told me that uh, you destroyed that planet. We are observers, not meant to interfere. The establishment has truly changed you. Hmm? What was that? You reminded me of the Decker when you joined all those cycles ago. Don't you remember our little group? We wanted to change the universe. For the better, as I recall. Precisely. And your view of better is destroying an entire planet, a whole race of people who would have lived full and fruitful lives without interference from us. I had to do it, Theta. You must understand. Don't call me that. It was necessary to complete my goals. What are your goals, Ushas? Eh? What can justify the blood on your hands? There's something out there. Something is eating the universe. That is not our concern. But it will be. It will be. What is eating the universe exactly? I cannot be sure. A wave of energy. It destroys everything in its wake. Destroying the Tetrap homeworld was necessary because I had to test what the wave could do to us. That planet was an experiment. The universe is dying out there. We'll be next if we don't prepare. What do you propose I do? Join me. Help me discover more about this destructive shockwave. Together, with the rest of the Decker, we can stop it once and for all. No. No? There are ways of doing things, Ushas. This is not it. Doctor, please! What is this? I lied. This was being recorded. Lady Ushas, you are under arrest for your meddling in the affairs of other species and times in the universe. No! Guards, take her. No! No, Doctor, please! What will happen to her now? The courts are still deciding. Either forced regeneration and reconditioning, or erasure. Hmm... You have proven yourself, Doctor. While you have made a mistake, you sought to correct it. You have done well these last long years in the Matrix observation chambers. Perhaps you would like to become one of us. One of you, Coordinator? 
Yes, quite so. Coordinator Sigma, perhaps. Oh my. Well, I, uh... Or perhaps Coordinator Doctor. I am unsure as to uh, what suited you better. The Sigma. Uh, Coordinator Sigma. Indeed. Very good. Thank you. Of course, Sigma. You will do well here. The timelines were beginning to converge. Little did the Doctor know that his loyalty to Gallifrey and his promotion were all distractions from the main danger. Even now, as I speak, species who would go on to be the Doctor's greatest enemies were being destroyed forever. Ashes was right. Of course, it was another month before the Doctor himself really noticed what was going on. Time to review the observer's work. Hmm. There's an irregularity. Good Lord. Wait, wait. Sigma, what's the matter? I must... I must see the High Council. Immediately. What? Why? Gallifrey is in danger. The Matrix says so. That can't be. Look! Do you see it? Shrinkage? But this could be... It's not universal shrinkage, Brax. I have checked the previous readings. The Matrix predicts that in a matter of days, Gallifrey will be destroyed. Destroyed? Yes, that is why I'm requesting an emergency session with the High Council. I see. Um... Let me help with this. Let's go. Gallifrey is in danger. We are days away from absolute destruction. What is this nonsense? It is not nonsense, Adelphi. I promise you. CV scrolls. Printed readings of the Matrix observations. What are we looking at here, Sigma? Uh, at first, it looked like the, uh, sort of like universal shrinkage, but the, uh, the Matrix predictions have shown me that there is something worse coming. You were referring to what Usha said. Her testimony was that something was eating the universe, Sigma. Are you falling for this propaganda, too? The Matrix says we have a matter of days, Sakra. According to one potential timeline. All timelines end the same, Sakra. Then why bother bringing this information to us? The Matrix says Gallifrey will be destroyed, not its people. And what would you have us do, exactly? Look to the stars, Adelphi. The wave is working its way through the universe. If we escape the planet, we can bide our time, investigate further, and find a way to survive. This is ridiculous. Seconded. Gentlemen, please, listen to my brother. You have brought family emotions into this, Brax. You must see this as a falsehood. These readings are real, Sokra. There is no stopping what's coming for Gallifrey. Get down! Guards, protect us! What on earth? Ushers! Mortimus! Drax, what are you doing? We are the Decker, and we are going to save Gallifrey before it is too late, Theta. How dare you enter these chambers? We are the High Council. Threat neutralized, Lady Ashas. Good work, Drax. You have failed our species, Sokra. Silence. I have had enough of insolence. How dare you? Watch us, please, don't do this. You will all be tried and punished for your part to play in Gallifrey's destruction. This is madness. What are you doing? What we should have done years ago, 
Sigma. This council with their endless debates, and what is there to show for it? They have led Gallifrey to ruin! And if you three prevail, what is there to rule, precisely? Gallifrey will be gone. Then help us, Theta. You were a part of the Decker once. We can save our people before it's too late. We are all the same now. No more houses, no more class systems. We are Time Lords and we must survive. There will always be those who resist. Then we will see that they no longer pose a threat. And you three will see to that. You're prepared to do this? Don't do this, Sigma. The last thing I want is for us to be enemies. You have abandoned the principles of which a democracy is based on ashes. You have murdered the High Council, some of our own people. I shall remember you as you were, as all of you were, not these monsters. I am sorry to hear that, Coordinator Sigma. Mortimus, take them away. What on earth is going on out there? Mm, at least we can see one another between these cells, I suppose. Mm. Sigma, now is not the time. I think we're beyond Sigma now, Brex. I must be a doctor again. <laughs> you and your name changes. No wonder you're so difficult to trust, even at the best of times. There must be a way out of here. Is this it? No. Look outside, through that small opening. We're below ground level. You can barely see anything. It's a civil war, Sigma. Loyalists versus rebels. Sig... Doctor, are you alright? Oh, brother. I didn't want this, Brax. You did the right thing. I can only pray that the Decker will do the right thing. What about our family? I'm sure they are safe. Oh, the house system doesn't work that way. And the Decker are all about changing the establishment, Doctor. We shall have to see. The days went by, and the Doctor and his brother remained in those cells. The fighting seemed endless, and on the final day of Gallifrey, the two brothers were given the chance to escape. <coughs> Do you think they'll feed us today? I just don't know, Bex. I've not seen a single guard today. There's not a lot of people left to fight now. Gallifrey is lost. Brother, you cannot think like that. War rages on, brother. <clears throat> it's, uh, it's getting closer. We have lost, brother. Ushers tried to warn me, but I was blinded by loyalty to Gallifrey and its council. And for what? It's going to... Oh! Oh! Goodness. Rax! Rax, are you there? <coughs> uh, it's a rogue shot. It... It's broken us out. I've seen Rex. Now come on, get up. We may be in with a chance. Take the stasers, Theta. We need them. Of course. <coughs> the time capsules are just down here. We must get one, find our family, and leave Gallifrey. And the people? It's too late, Theta. Come on. There's nobody here. All out fighting, I presume. These time capsules are down for maintenance. Pick one, any of them. This one. Rex? Stay where you are. R Doctor, uh, run. Oh, shut it. Mortimus, let Rex go this instant. I don't think so, Theta. Put the Staser down. Let the fighting stop. 
Gallifrey is coming to an end. Uh, we can escape together. There is nothing that can be done now, Theta. The wave has destroyed all of creation. What do you mean? Gallifrey is at the epicentre of this shockwave. Outside, there is nothing left. That can't be. It's true. We have nowhere to go. There is always a way, Mortimus. The Decker have become lazy. There are always ways out. Oh, really? Theta, run! Rex! <laughs> no! Now for you, Doctor! Oh my goodness, I've never had to work out one of these things before. What is going on? The shockwave! I caught it. No, I must save my family. Poor little Susan, I must. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh my. What is that? You do not need to worry anymore, Doctor. Who are you? I am the Warden. Warden? Hmm. What has happened? Your universe is dead, Doctor. But there is a way to fix this. There is? Well, what is it then? This shockwave you've experienced was created in one of the many dimensions of the multiverse. The only way to stop it is to find others from across the multitude of worlds. Multiverse? Good gracious. Indeed. Time is of the essence. Now that your universe has been devoured, there are many more that will also see the same fate. Well, what can be done? This is a broken down time capsule. With my powers, I will allow this ship to travel the multiverse. To gather people from across universes to create a singular fixed point. And my family can be saved? Yes, of course. Then do it. Very well. Our first destination is Dimension 111. What happens there, eh? You really do not want to know.